Hey Taurus, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you're new here. So we are going to do your reading. This is going to be for August 2022 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. You can also check out your North Node and your Jupiter if you'd like to, whatever works for you. And we're going to see here what is coming in for you, Taurus, in the month of August. What do you need to hear? What do you need to know? All right, so just take what resonates as always. Just take what fits with you. And let's go ahead and jump in and see what we have. All right, so spirit guides, please tune me in to the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, anybody watching this reading today anybody tuning in here to this message what do you need to know what is coming in for you in august and any other messages spirit that taurus needs to hear right we have trust intuition we have resolve conflicts okay so some of you could be going through a conflict that spirit saying that you have to trust what you're feeling you have to trust what your internal guidance is telling you um, some of you could also be very empathic you're strong empaths and you're picking up on something you're absorbing something I feel some of you also are very keenly aware right now of what's happening in front of you whatever that means for you that could be a situation that could be um, whatever it is i just feel like spirit wants you to take time to uh, trust yourself before you proceed before you move forward um, it's really important for you to do that and to kind of look within yourself involving a situation uh, there may also be something that is making you feel maybe tested or uh, causing some uh, challenges for you here and I feel like this is what spirit's saying let's see Taurus what else we have return to the sacred okay and we have life death and rebirth so um, yeah I feel like this may be a time that you're really returning back home to what is sacred you're returning back home to yourself somehow I think that there is also going to be situations that come up here for you to deal with from the past some of you may be dealing with certain people or situations from the past that are coming up here for you and I feel like spirit just is kind of asking you to do things differently this time around um, some of you could actually have a person from the past pop back up into your life or message you or something like that. Um, and Spirit's saying that this is a lesson for you because you know better is what I'm hearing. So some of you know better um, and maybe that's going to resonate with somebody. If this is a situation that you kind of know, maybe this is not going to work or maybe things are going to repeat themselves. Um, I really feel like Spirit's testing you here, Taurus, when it comes to your something again about your, your empathic abilities, your intuition, your... Um, your sacral chakra I'm getting your solar plexus chakra something that you're feeling energetically I'm also being told that there could be cords of attachment for some of you where you have attachment to a certain person or people in your life and I feel like you're learning how to let that go you're learning how to forgive to forget to move on um, and to try to wash that away to try not to let that affect you here moving forward because um, something about the endurance here for you, being strong, being uh, brave, being courageous, maybe independent. Some of you may feel quite different or out of your... Um, something you're being kind of like... Um, yeah, asked to kind of develop from within yourself and to kind of walk your own path right now. Okay, is what I'm getting here for you, Taurus. Let's see. We have protection... Yeah, look at that. We have veils parting as well. So there is definitely some truth coming in for you, some type of truth coming into your life or situation that's going to be made more clear to you. I'm actually being told making wrongs right. So like we see here with the conflicts, it could be that some of you, this is a person making wrongs right, maybe wanting to bring an apology or bring balance to a connection or 
this could also be you okay there's a feeling of kind of revising the past or revising what we have once involved ourselves with and that could be where there is this feeling of like we have to come to a conclusion with something or we have to come into balance and healing i am getting some of you there will be a person who will want to express something to you about how they're feeling or want to be more open with you and that could be anybody you know it could be a friend lover ex family member but spirit just saying that this may be where you will have to decide kind of what to do when the time comes you need to listen to your intuition and what it's telling you about this situation spirit for taurus what other messages do we have for taurus We have, okay, the unknown card. Interesting. We have the Fool and we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So the unknown card is an extra card in this deck, which is quite literally saying it's unknown. So the fact that we have the Fool and we have the unknown card, I definitely feel like you're leaping into the unknown here, Taurus. There's some new discovery or new area that you're heading into. Um, and it does feel like it's gonna require you to be brave, to stand tall. So you may have to just kind of go towards this full speed ahead is what I'm getting. Not like recklessly, but more so in a way where there's just this kind of almost like on the edge here, on the ledge, like this person here. You know, like you're standing on the ledge of some some type of breakthrough or energy that's coming in for you um, like I said for some of you there may be a conflict here maybe involving your future or family with the ten of pentacles in reverse um, and spirit could just be saying here that you are finding the truth about something you're seeing the way forward in regards to some aspect or area of your life um, What is this here? We have the King of Swords reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Death card. Yeah, um, I do feel for many of you this is probably in regards to maybe a person around you. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have strong Aquarius coming through. Um, but I just feel like there is going to be an ending taking place, a transformation, a renewal, but it's also going to cause things to be different. It's like something is ending in order to kind of like shift into, an, into the new. Uh, for some of you, spirit is protecting you from something or someone. Uh, yeah, seven of wands, very much of like a defensive energy, nine of pentacles. You know, some of you may be just really protecting yourself right now. You're wanting to protect your energy your vibe your heart your soul something here that you need to keep I, i'm actually getting for some of you you may have an ancestor here or your ancestors with a ton of pentacles and protection are almost like wanting you to end something or to shift cycles because you are developing your future or your legacy or you're very protected with this tiger here that we have coming up here too um because i feel like you you have something that somebody wants or you have something very sacred about you. I don't know what that's about. It could be a relationship or someone from the past. Somebody wants something from you because you may look good or or you're doing well. Um, and I feel like there has been a cycle here for you that has been filled with conflict with the King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And so I feel like it's time to kind of let that go. It's time to flow away from that or to turn the wheel. Um, some of you, this is a karmic person or a karmic situation that maybe you have not been able to fully resolve. And this is where I feel there may be an ending taking place around that so that you can kind of go into the unknown. Um, I feel many of you are returning back to sacred when it comes to like, again, your energy or your maybe even having stronger boundaries when it comes to people in your life, not making way for those types of connections anymore, but choosing to end things that are just not serving you with the death card here. So I feel like you may have to be on guard this month, not like you have to be overly protective, but 
Um, I feel so many of you, you are already protected, so you don't have to kind of over, you can just kind of be in the moment and you can be in your own skin here. Because I think for many of you, you have like a new journey kind of opening for you, which is going to require you again to trust in the unknown. It's like there's something better for you. I wouldn't be surprised if that card comes out from one of the, the decks that I have, I'm going to use. But it's like there's something better for you or there's something that's being like preserved or protected for you. Um, and so Spirit just wants you to know that. They also want you to trust your intuition when it comes to a certain person or a certain situation. Taurus. Yes, we have full moon and we have new moon. Look at that completion and promise. So you're wrapping up something and then you're entering into the new, into a new moon, into a new promise. We have the vision quest too. So this is kind of where I feel like there's this unknown variable. Um, some of you may have been coming from the unknown where things have not been pieced together for you. Things have been maybe kind of confusing or foggy. Um, and this is where Spirit's saying that the answers that you've been maybe seeking or needing are coming to a close for you. Um, and you have this new moon but what let me see what else for taurus perspective so yeah it's like your perspective is, is changing your perspective on a situation or a person or a relationship here is changing for you um I don't feel like Spirit's giving much more information about what this is for some reason. That could be why we have this desert quest because it's almost like they're stopping me from saying anything more. I don't know, because you can see the energy kind of stops here too. This The protection and the Seven of Wands. Like something is stopping here. I don't know why. It's like maybe Spirit's forcing you to kind of go into some type of vision quest or like um, close out something or figure something out before you move forward. That's almost what I'm getting here with the resolve conflicts. It's like you may have been denying your intuition about something. I don't know what it is, but maybe you've been denying what your intuition has been telling you about a situation. And it's, it's almost like until you can all like figure that out, I feel like something has been repeating itself here for you. Taurus. Yes, transformation. So transformation, we have conditioning and we have flowering. So, you know, I feel like transformation, again, you are going through a big transformation. Um, I feel like there may have been things that were definitely meant to fall away from your energy field, from your life. Um, this may definitely have been connected to maybe your belief system, your family, your values, something that maybe have has kept you in a loop or kept you in the past. Um, and I feel like some of you could actually be going through some deeper healing when it comes to learning how to trust in your intuition and learning how to trust more in you and kind of where you are meant to flourish or where you are meant to shine. And this could require you to, again, maybe protect yourself from some people or situations that maybe just kind of keep uh, perpetuating or bringing in a certain way of viewing situations, if that makes sense. So I think, Taurus, you've been trying to find yourself or you've been trying to find You, I don't know, you've been trying to find your way or you've been trying to find yourself or find kind of, you know, some, some type of answer here. But with flowering, I feel like you are going to be blossoming and flowering when it comes to bringing in a new level of self-trust and self-awareness. I think this is also going to be where you begin to love yourself more and honor yourself more. I think for many of you, again, you're kind of tapping into a very protected energy. I'm noticing the bubble around this person. Some of you could even be doing energy work where you are protecting your energy field 
you're protecting yourself or maybe if it's not you i think your guides or spirit has also been protecting you they've been trying to shield you from something or maybe just protect your energy protect kind of your uh, again your future or your uh your energy so it's a very independent energy for you though taurus i feel where you are being asked to continue to focus your energy on like attracting within some of you are drawing energy inside of you so that it can create your external and i think that that's something coming up here um, but you may have to let go of some old like um patterns or ways of thinking or maybe even connected here to your ancestors for some of you with conditioning and the ten of pentacles if you've been struggling to maybe have financial success or even romantic success i think one reason for you is because there's been like a past life blockage or maybe connected here to your ancestors as well um, that maybe has not been resolved and I feel like Spirit's giving you an opportunity to do this, or you are being given the opportunity here to resolve some type of conflict in your life. Um, if it's not that, it could be your direct environment. You know, it could be a family member around you. It could be a relationship. Um, something that I feel is making you kind of test you in a way to see what you're willing to kind of do or sacrifice even. Some of you may have to sacrifice something in your life right now. Okay, so what else, Taurus? We have silence. Yes, and look at that. We have new vision. So the fact that we have conditioning and then we have new vision, I mean, I really feel like you are having uh, a, a, and perspective too. It's definitely a feeling more so of your perspective on situations and life shifting and changing. And I think this is being done through some type of silent vision quest or just drawing the energy from back within you. Um, and so I think it's going to be a powerful time for you to do this and to set new intentions and to trust in yourself and have faith in yourself. Um, some of you could be doing some, like I said, deep inner work when it comes to maybe rewiring your thoughts, your mind, your subconscious. Um, okay, so Taurus, what else? We have changing your mind. Affirmations, Taurus, we have opportunity, we have success, so yeah, an opportunity for success is coming in for you, an opportunity for you to run with your own energy you know just to kind of embrace that and to take charge of your life somehow is what i'm getting we have you've got the power yeah it's really all about you right now we have forgiveness and then we also have perfect timing and improving health so if any of you have been struggling also with your health your mental or physical health um, spirit saying that this is also a time for you to find ways to heal yourself find ways to bring more healing into your life um, again i'm getting maybe like you know chakra healing or energy healing or just kind of being able to flower and to flourish health wise you know if you've had any struggles with your health here i think spirit's saying too this isn't a perfect opportunity or perfect timing for you to release the past like we've seen with the wheel of fortune in reverse i think that you are definitely um, taking control of yourself and your life and maybe this was lacking for you before you may have felt like you were a victim of just turning with the tides or um you know just kind of spinning around and i think that you are uh, this transformation for you is going to show you so much more about how to trust in yourself how to trust your intuition how to um, kind of again be in control of your energy how to create abundance for your life how to attract abundance i'm getting like nectar here like you're attracting with your energy um, and so, yeah, I feel like it's, yeah, definitely a time for you to take that power and you've got the power to resolve whatever situation has been testing you or in front of you. Um, 
What else for Taurus? The Ten of Cups, the Six of Swords, the uh, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you are heading towards your Ten of Cups. Again, for many of you, you're heading towards a time where things are becoming more together. Things are becoming more synchronistic or unified. Um, there's going to be a lot of expansion when it comes to your ability to attract happiness, your ability to attract many magical things towards you. Um, I do feel for many of you, you are also, uh, again, healing like maybe a deeper part of you that has had to heal from any conditioning or trauma or uh, past events that you may have held on to for too long. And Spirit's saying that your intuition knows where to go. Your intuition here is going to know where to guide you and to take you with the Queen of Cups. I think that you're also taking a lot of care uh, on your emotional health for many of you and your mental health. I think that you are learning maybe, again, how to set boundaries with yourself, how to set boundaries with other people so that you can move this wheel forward. So you can kind of, you know, again, begin to kind of take charge here with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like... Um, Yeah, let's see if there's anything else that you need to know, Taurus. We have the otter and we have the beaver. So yeah, I love that because the otter is always gives me just a feeling of happiness and also tapping into the water element, the queen of cups here, the ten of cups. I really strongly feel here for you, Taurus, you're heading towards a very excuse me, light time, a happier time, a more freedom living or freedom, um, freedom time, a time where you're able to have more freedom to express yourself, to express your joy, to feel like you're inviting circumstances and situations that bring you happiness and peace. Um, and this very well could be a happy home or happy relationship for many of you where you are actually attracting in that type of connection. You know, you're attracting in a love connection or someone who, you know, maybe wants to really work on things with you with the beaver, um, somebody who wants to commit themselves to the connection and to build something for you or with you, I should say. Um, I feel like with improving health here too in the beaver, I think many of you are also here, Taurus, becoming more like kind of focused in or zoomed in on what you really want to create and not so much scattering, scattering your attention elsewhere. I'm also picking up too that there could be a person here, Taurus, for you, around you, who may have been somebody who didn't really put in much effort to this connection before, or there's been a cycle here involving this person. Um, and I feel like for some, this person here is somebody who does want to maybe bring more effort into the connection or to try to build something more with you. And this may have been a cycle that this person has been having to navigate here. But um, I think that your intuition will help to guide you. Your intuition will tell you what to focus on and who to trust. And, you know, because I think that there could be some... Um, tests along the way. Okay. Um, so I think I'll leave it there then. So thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful for you. And thank you again for being here. Take care and lots of love.